Hi, I'm Carrie, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I've made a video <laughs> because I had pre-recorded a bunch of them. And if you happen to follow on my community tab, you would have seen that I had said I didn't know if I was going to be able to make um, videos because I had been sick. And I am battling this, like, laryngitis so hopefully you can hear me but that's why my voice is all um, funky and everything so today's video is something different completely different from tarot so it may not be a video for you um, but I had shared my um, journals and I'll try to remember to link that video in the description box. But I had shared my journals that I make and that I make for um, my tarot journaling practice. And I had a request to show how I made this Alice in Wonderland. That's made from a file folder. Um, it has a pocket and it has all the decorated pages that are completely removable. And the back um, flips open and then you can put scrap paper and whatever here. So that's what I am going to show you today <clears throat> is how to put this together. And it's very simple. Um, and that's why I figured I could make this short video and get this up for you. So, <clears throat> all you need, let me make sure I'm in frame, yes. All you need is a standard file folder. I don't care, middle, top, bottom, doesn't matter. Whatever your standard um, file folders are. I know they're, I think they're longer in, the, um, over in the UK than they are here, if I remember correctly. So you're going to take this folder and you're going to cut it to whatever length that you want your um, journal to be. So that is this one right here. My journals are eight and a half inches long. So I just put it in my trimmer and I trim off at eight and a half. Um, I like to usually keep uh, this part of the uh, journal, I mean of the file folder, sorry. So I would trim off, I would measure eight and a half from the bottom up and then I would trim off the plain um, end. So the next thing that you are going to do is so now you've got it the length you want. So now you're going to use um, the grooves that are already in the file folder as your spine. I folded it to where, hopefully you can see, I'll use this one. So you see that the file folder actually has like three scored sections already. Well, I only use two of them for my spine. So like that, one section, second section. So I folded it so those two sections were there and that's my spine. So you just wanna crease that really well. Okay, so now you have what your spine's gonna be and the reason I say you do that first is this, cause then that's gonna determine your length of your sides. So my sides are five and a quarter inches long. So I just put them in my paper trimmer and I scored down at five and a quarter and then I folded those both in. Super, super simple. So remember, you're going to get your spine first and then you're going to measure let me crease that a little. You're gonna measure from this crease right here 
to where however wide you want yours to be. Like I said, mine is five and a quarter, and then I scored it. Okay. Then all you do is you fold your flaps in. You don't have to. You could cut these off at this point if you wanted to. So you can, I'm going to move this. You can fold these in and make pockets out of them. Um, make this a pocket. You could make this the flip out like I did in the Alice, or you could just fold it and make it into a pocket. <clears throat> So now that you have your spine, you've scored your thing, so you have your um, basis ready for your journal. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put some sort of tape down here to secure this spine because it's just a file folder and as you build the layers up, it's going to get heavier. And you want something where this is not going to rip. I use clear duct tape. You could use packing tape. Um, you could use a colored duct tape. You could probably even use the paper tape for packing. But you want to put something inside to secure it. Um, sometimes if I know my spine is going to be black on the outside, I will use a clear in the middle on the inside and then I will put a black um, duct tape along the outside and secure it. So if you're only going to put tape on the inner part of your file folder to secure your spine, then you're going to want to make something to go around the um, outside of your spine to give it a little bit more security. So I just made this and of course I didn't bring, I was unprepared and didn't bring any measuring tape with me. Um, hold on one second. Okay, so you're going to measure your spine, and I think mine's half an inch. I think that's what it's uh, measuring at. Yeah, about half an inch. So all I did was I cut a two and a half inch um, strip of cardstock, and then I scored a half inch. Um, and then you basically have an inch on each side and you're just going to slip that over your spine. I just did an example so it's a little bit short. It's not short on the on the finished one. Um, but you want to make sure it's the right length and then you're going to slip it over and you're going to glue. You can wet glue it. Um, what I usually do is I put a sticky glue double-sided tape here and I put this on and then I usually like um, I wet glue the sides or you can wet glue all of it I know people like to use wet glue on their journals that's fine and this just reinforces the spine so um, you don't have to worry about your journal falling apart so now you are going to Make sure that you have your thing. You're going to add in your, um, what you're going to use to bind it. Now, I used these um, that are by Tim Holtz, these elastic bands. But I've looked at multiple different sites online and these are sold out everywhere. So I'm thinking these have been discontinued. However, I did look on um, Amazon and they, ha they had an elastic cord and they were selling the barbs for the end separately with it. So you could measure it out to whatever length and then clamp your barbs on the end, 
which I think that's, I'm going to go that route next time. However, I'm going to show you that you don't need these. Um, you could take just a piece of elastic band that you get anywhere and punch your holes where you want. And I usually punch my holes um, a little bit down from, you don't want them all the way at the edge, it's gonna tear. So you wanna come in just a little bit, if you can see that from the edge of the um, journal. And you could just run an elastic band and then just knot it and keep that on the outside if you wanted to, or you could actually keep it on the inside because if it was on, if the knot was on the outside, it would make, it wouldn't lay flat. Um, you could use, I like to use the elastic band because it's stretchy and it makes it easier to slip pages in and out. If you don't use an elastic band and you just want to tie a cord, just know, or string, I'm sorry, string, just know that your it's not going to expand like using the elastic. So if it was me and I didn't have access to these, I would just get this little elastic cord and I would tie it and I would knot it so it was in the center of my journal. So now you have the basis of the journal um, ready. And actually, once you have your holes punched, you can wait to put the band in until you do some decorating. So I have the basis of my journal ready. So now I'm going to do um, all my decorating, decorate your cover, which now has really um, beefed up the weight of my cover. Um, and I just took my scrapbook paper to the edge on both sides and then decorated how I want it. And then for the inside, I, I made this one into a pocket and I made, um, what's this called? A gusset, I think that's called. And what I did was the piece of file folder that was tore off, you just cut it to this length you just cut it to this length and then you crease it. You do like a W crease. And then that way it makes this pocket expandable. Cause otherwise if you just glue this, if you just glue this straight down, if you've never made a journal before, it really limits the space that that'll hold where you could put something chunkier in there. For the back, I did the same thing. I added my scrapbook paper up to my spine and I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this yet. That's why I've kind of left it like this. I, if I wanted to, I could make a, um, I'll just show with this. I could make like a little topper right here and I could just have strips of paper coming down here that would flip up this way. You could do that. I could leave this like this. I could do the same thing there like I did in my Alice journal where I made this flip up and then I have different lengths of paper over here underneath of it. Um, I could do that here. I could decide to um, gusset this and make this into a big pocket if I wanted to, but I, I don't think I want another pocket. I think I am leaving this piece open for, um, and I'm going to put additional pages here. What I forgot to do, <laughs> which I'll have to take all this out to do it is I forgot to put this band. This is another Tim Holtz band, um, but you could just use ribbon if you wanted to. And I would punch it through like I did here on Alice in the middle. And you can see that that's here in the middle of the spine. And then I use it, um, it could close the whole journal, but for right now, 
I'm just using it to wrap around and keep this little flap closed. Which, if I add pages in here, that would work really well for me is I would be able to close this and then I'd be able to wrap this around and, uh, you know, keep that closed, except with it hooked in the middle. That is how you do the outside. It is very simple. It's one of the simplest journals to make. And by making the pages removable, if it gets filled and you want to reuse the cover, all you do is slip these pages out like this. That's it. Nothing is in here permanently. It just all slips out. So what I did was I just got a variety of paper. I have scrapbook paper. I have, um, this is like a heavier cardstock, dot grid. This came with Amazon packaging, um, more scrapbook paper regular um, copy paper and so on. And then I cut them to the length. However, I originally cut them down to eight and a half. Well, that was stupid because I don't have the opening between the elastic at eight and a half. I think it's seven and a half. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's about seven and a half, but your papers to fit in the elastic needed to be seven and a quarter. So I ended up having to trim the length of my papers to seven and a quarter inches. And then I didn't cut them. I just cut them down to seven and a quarter and then I folded everything. And then I just started slipping them into each other. And then I slipped them up and under um, this elastic. So then what I did was the scrapbook pages, I folded in and there wasn't enough on these white papers to fold in. And I have a Tim Holtz. Um, oh no, it's not Tim Holtz. It was a, uh, a ruler I got on Amazon that you um, use to create this um, torn edge. I can't remember the name of the ruler. If I can find it, I'll link it. And I just, you just put the, just like this, you, if you wanted to use a straight edge ruler, you could, and you just put it and then you just tear along it and it creates this torn edge. I love a ratty journal, I just do. It's just my thing. But you can do a straight edge. You don't even have to tear it. You can put it in your paper trimmer, guillotine trimmer, whatever, and just trim off exactly what you need. And that's all I did was I just added these pieces of paper in um, wherever I wanted. I used the scraps from the um, scrapbooking paper and there is the guts of my journal. And I think I'm going to use this journal for my, um, I'm doing the Ancestor Grimoire um, book and the Circle of Kindreds group. And I think I'm going to use that for here. Um, but here's like a super, okay, so like here is a piece of crinkled up tracing paper. So let's say you're like, oh, but I wanted to add something else in. I just, this is super thin. So you just stick it in there like that. And then I just go back here to see where this is coming through. And it's coming through right there. And I pull it till it's like that. And then I could, we'll just rip that edge off there. And we'll leave that edge like that. And that is how simple it is to add anything in. You could slip anything in and out of this. Like I said, these are my favorite journals to make because of that. You just slip whatever papers you want to in and out. If I don't want this in here anymore, out it would come. 
you know, um, I can tell you one thing that I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to cut these edges off because they are annoying me uh, folded like that. Maybe I'll fold this one like this. And, um, yeah, maybe I'll do that. Fold that like that and fold this one like this because I do not like them folded to the center. Yeah, like my makeshift. Uh... Oh my God. It just went right out of my head what it's called. Scoring tool or whatever. <clears throat> so yes, these are super simple. Super, super, super simple to make. Um, here, this is just um, an envelope from my regular mail that I get every single day. And I just took the little tiny scraps from tearing off of the edges and I threw some book pages in and I framed out, see, it's just a window envelope. And this was part of the uh, kit, um, paper kit that I had. Oops, she's always, and uh, yeah, it just fits down in there perfectly. And I just thought it was cute and it just sits right there. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's just going to sit there. So yes, um, I can't remember who asked me to show how to make these uh, file folder journals like Alice, but this is how I do it where the papers are removable. And like I said, these are my, my absolute favorite to do. If there's a different type one, I am getting ready to throw a journal together really quickly um, cause it is junk journal January with Meg journals. I love following her prompts. So I'm going to throw one together really quickly and then decorate the pages per her prompts. So you might want to check her channel out if that's something that interests you. And like I said, I know this isn't tarot related, but this is my other absolute love. My heart is into all of paper crafting and um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you stuck through watching it and I hope you don't mind the sound of my voice and hopefully I'll be back to normal very soon. So thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you and thanks so much for watching. And um, I'm hoping that you have a happy and prosperous and abundant and a new year full of love. So until next time, bye.